And Vanessa, I mean, that weather has been so beautiful lately. It was perfect for the eclipse until the sun kind of got covered. Then it was too chilly for me. But <laughs> luckily the sun came back out. It was all good. And gosh, just beautiful weather the rest of the week. I mean, we have seen a few more clouds, Courtney. But it is that time of the year where we start looking at more active weather, especially now that we're going into severe weather season. And a reminder, our severe weather special is going to be airing tomorrow evening at 630 after the six o'clock news. Myself, Mike and Scott, we've been working really hard on the special to try to get you prepared for severe weather Gotta season. Be prepared. Because it's a it, severe weather it's season is knocking <laughs> on our door. But let's talk about the weather heading into the rest of the work week because at least we don't have severe weather to worry about, Courtney. It's a quiet start to our day here on our Reed Automotive camera overlooking the south side of St. Joseph and I-29 where many of you are going to start getting ready to head out the door in a bit. Right now, not expecting any issues for your Wednesday morning commute. Temperatures? A little cool, but not too bad, sitting for the most part in the 40s. 44 currently in St. Joseph, 46 in Maysville, 42 in Maryville, 43 in Mount City. Kansas City right now is coming in at 52 degrees. Heading into the day today, I am expecting temperatures to be slightly above average as we are expecting to top out in the lower 70s heading into the afternoon. But we do have a disturbance to our south that could bring us a little bit of some rain showers. But right now it's very, very low, about a 10 to 20% chance. You can see the clouds building in this morning on our satellite and radar. Here is the storm system to our south that's bringing heavy rain, even some severe weather to parts of the deep south today where they are under a level three, even a level four risk of strong to severe thunderstorms heading into the afternoon. So they could even get some strong tornadoes with this event. So this is something we'll be watching and keeping you updated on, but at least for us, it's going to be pretty quiet. No severe weather for us to worry about. We are going to be watching for that moisture to come up from the Gulf of Mexico. But as you can see, the forecast models are keeping the rain mostly east of us. But again, we could get a stray shower. So that is why I'm keeping that 20% chance of some showers, especially later on today with a high of 71 degrees. And in your seven day forecast, 80s will be returning to the forecast this weekend. Courtney with a lot of sunshine. Our next chances for showers and some thunderstorms will be late Monday into Tuesday. And still ahead here.